Okay, so we're going to look at how to groom ears. Um, as you know, uh, it's acceptable to trim ears. It's one of the few places that you're allowed to trim. So Nova here, uh, we have particular issues with her ears. She has a lot of fur on top, uh, quite a lot inside, and then she gets these straggly bits that if you leave them, they can get knots and sometimes you can get mats in them. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do it. The, the main things that I use are a comb like this. This is actually a cat comb, but you can use one of the normal uh, dog cones, but use the thin end. Okay. Uh, thinning scissors. So these are single thinning scissors. And then a pair of curved scissors as well. Okay, so the first bit we're going to do is comb out round the ear properly to make sure that we've got no knots or mats in the ear. Uh, this is quite important because the hair then lies at the right length and you know how little or how much, how, how much you need to take off. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the back of the ear, this part here. So what I do is if you just brush the hair back so that it's standing up and you can see how much you need to take off and the majority with Nova at the moment is around the back here uh, because she's just had puppies she's not got as much as she normally would have so we're only going to make a few cuts with the thinning scissors and then we can brush that back down and one of the aims is is if you look when you brush the hair down this way you shouldn't have excessive amounts coming over the end of the ear here, okay? So the next place we're going to go to is this bit here. So if I just lift that up, this bit here underneath where I was saying that you can get dreadlocks. Okay, now with Nova again, she's not got as much as she normally has. And because we're not showing for a few months, I'm going to cut a little bit more than maybe I normally would. So I'm actually going to take this whole crease here and thin that there. Okay. And just brush that out. So looking again, I just need to take a little bit more off under here. So another cut. And the good thing about the thinners is if you make a mistake, you're not cutting a huge piece of fur off. You're just taking a, a small amount so um, and also they don't leave scissor marks which is good you don't really want scissor marks even if you're not showing you don't want scissor marks okay so the next thing we're going to look at now is the inside of the ear now obviously the hair on the inside of the ear is important and we don't want to mess around with it too much because it helps them hear and it also protects their ear from debris so all we're going to do is we're going to take the curved scissors and we're just going to take the hair that goes over the end of the ear and you can see how sensitive those hairs are. So you very carefully just thin around the ear. Good girl. It's just thin around the ear. Okay. And you don't want to take too much of that off literally because these are really important hairs. Okay. And if we go to the top of the ear, we just do the same thing. We're just following around the ear. Not much to go on Nova, she's quite neat round the ear. And all I'm going to do here is just remember you've got a little flap there, so don't forget about that, okay, because you can catch it with your scissors and it will hurt them. But what I'm going to do is, because if you look, if I just move her head round, you can see that that looks very obvious that it's been trimmed and it's a little bit harsh, so I'm just going to take the thinners now and I'm just going to make a couple of cuts. Just to tidy the edges up a bit. Okay, so we'll just push that out. Okay, and the final bit then that we're looking to do is if you take the dog and have it looking directly at you, you take your index finger and you put it underneath their ear and you push the ear up as if they were holding their ear up and alert. And all these bits here that stick up, you need to thin those out. Okay. So, because I know where they are on her, I could take the thinning scissors and just thin round them. 
and then just check again by bringing her ear up. There's a couple more sticking out by here, so we'll just take them. Good girl. So what we'll do now is I'll just comb her out and I'll turn around and you can see her un come here. Come on. And we'll turn we'll just show you sit. Sit. Good girl. We'll just show you her So that's basically the tidy deer. So you can see how it's much tidier on top, tidier down the side here, you've not got those mats and all the kinks and then it's tidier underneath so that the ear sits nicely. Also I remember you saying about um, how to check for ear length and whether it was um, right or too long. What you should do is take the end of the ear and move it forward and it should reach the corner of the dog's eye. Now Nova's is a little long, as you can see it goes over to about the middle of her eye. If I was to get Boomer up on the table and show you, his is a little bit too short. But that's how you take a guess on how long the ears should be. They should reach the corner of the eye without overlapping it. Okay? Right, I'll let her do her other ear while she's a lot longer.